Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video we are going to discuss one of the most commonly used service in real time and the most popular service in Google Cloud platform called Cloud Big Lake. So in this video we will be seeing what is Cloud Big Lake and we will be doing the hands on. Let's get started. So first we will understand what is Cloud Big Lake. So Big Lake is an unified storage engine that simplifies data access for data warehouse and lake by providing uniform fine grained access control across multi cloud storage and other open formats. So Big Lake with the help of this Big Lake you can store whatever the type of data is whether it is unstructured, structured, semi structured, whatever it is. It's just a hybrid of both data warehouse and the data lake. And it provides an uniform fine grain and you will be able to access across multi-cloud platforms open formats as well. Big Lake extends BigQuery's fine grain draw and column level security. So, so Big Lake makes use of BigQuery's fine grained row and column level securities as well. And you will be able to connect with other cloud platforms like Amazon S3, Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2 and Google Cloud Storage Buckets. So this is what the overview on Cloud Big Lake. And now we'll just start our hands on. To do the hands on, we log into the console. So this is the console which I'll be using for this demo and make sure first one thing you have to enable the API of BigQuery and you have to enable the API of Cloud Storage. If you don't know how to enable go to this navigation menu API and services enabled API and services and you just click on this enable API and services search for whatever the service you want for example BigQuery hit type and hit enter and you will be able to see BigQuery API the same way you have to do it for Cloud Storage as well first thing is you just go to BigQuery so you can just click on this navigation menu so just click on this BigQuery so before starting our demo I'll just walk you through the command which I have created so I have broken down all these things in five different tasks basically four tasks first one is create a connection resource then next one is create cloud storage bucket and also providing necessary roles and permissions to our service account then the third task is to create a big leg table and finally to query inside it. After querying the data from big leg, we will be setting up access control policy in the big leg table which we have created. So this is what we will be seeing as part of this demo. So now I am inside my console. You can just close this and expand this project ID. This lucky leaf 396003 is the project ID and these are the data sets. Demo data set, demo data set. These are my data sets. And you can just expand this external connections. You will be not able to see anything. Now just click on this add. And then you can you have to see this connection to external data sources. Just click on this and enable API of it. So it will take around one or two minutes to enable the API. You have to just click on this and you can just here you can see the drop down. Connection type cloud SQL, MySQL, Cloud SQL Postgres, Big Lake on AWS, Big Lake on Azure. Cloud Spanner, Big Lake and Remote Functions, Cloud Resources. You have to just select this and connection ID, you can just give your own. Here I'll give my connection. And since I'm using this throughout this, I'll be using the same, my connection this. And then you can just go for region. You can give friendly name as first Big Lake and whatever the description. This is my first Big Lake or whatever it is. You can just type it out and then click on this create connection. It will take some time. Yeah, here you can see my connection created and you can just click on this prod three dots refresh contents and you will be able to see us dot my connection. Here you can see all the connection info details connection ID is what is the project? What is the location and what is my connection ID name and friendly name when it got created when it got lost modified data location description connection type and the service account ID. So for this service account ID, we will be providing the necessary storage uh, rules so you can just copy this out and I'll just open my cloud IAM so here you can see this is my service account and principal I'll just add it here it is cloud storage and you can just go with uh, storage admin itself 
but it is not mandatory to go with storage admin you can just go with storage object viewer also that will also will work fine yes. so what we have done till now we have just created one connection for this bigquery external table and whatever the service account we got from that connection resource we have assigned storage admin role to that particular service account the next thing is we are going to create the big lake table before that we have to create data set and we, we have to create table inside bigquery so what i'll do is i'll just go to my bigquery console i'll if you want you can create data set of your own you can just click on this create data set data set big lake demo and let it be us region and let all the other options remain same you can just click on this create data set this is the data set which i've created you can just click on this create table i'll read or i'll get the data from cloud storage bucket so this is my cloud storage bucket i'll just click on this create i'll create a new bucket on this demo data set big lake and let it be the same thing multi-region and let all the other things remain same i'll just click on this create bucket so once the bucket is created we will be uploading a csv file you can just go here upload files customer.csv is the file which we are going to upload so i'll just upload this so you can just refresh this console you will be able to see customer.csv file has been uploaded into this particular bucket the size is 6.5 kb what is the type created storage class all the other details you will be able to find it so before getting into further step i'll just wanted to explain you what this customer.csv file has so this is what the details and it has only limited rows around 59 records only it has so we are go and go to the bucket which we created recently so this is the bucket which we created demo data set big leg select this customer.csv file just click on this select file format let it be csv project and the destination and the table name is customer data sorry big lake this is my table name and the table type this is important now so just click on this table type go with external table and create a big lake table using a cloud resource connection remember we have already created a connection and what is the connection id is us dot my connection you can just click on this if you want you can auto detect the schema or you can just edit the text so i'll give you this json file as well so schema this is the schema customer id first name last name you can just copy this and paste it here all the other details let it be same so just click on this create table so it will create the table i guess like go to table the table is created so here you can see the schema customer id first name last name company address all those details you will be able to see and the details so details it resembles very similar to what you see it in uh, bigquery project id data site id followed by the table name created last modified table expression data location all the details and this is what the external data configuration so the source URI is this is our demo data set bucket and the respective csv file auto detect schema false ignore unknown false all the details it remain false and this is the connection id click on this query profile so you will be able to see the records custom id first name last name all the details so this is how you will be able to create big lake so that's it for this video i hope you learned how to create big lake use in google cloud platform using cloud storage bucket and also using bigquery if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from vignesh happy learning